Hi, this is JJ with the Writing Center at CU Denver. This first podcast about the known new contract highlights what we call the chain method. The known new contract is a linguistic concept that demonstrates how readers process information. In short, because we know that readers best understand new information when it's built off of known information, writers can use the known new contract to create cohesion and clarity in writing. It's a good concept to know because it helps you write strong transitions, helps you stay aware of what your reader needs to understand your prose, which ultimately helps you arrange your narrative or your argument in a logical, approachable way. But in order to really grasp the no new contract, we must first consider the basic elements of any sentence. Let's take a look at these three sentences. We can think of sentences as containing topics with comments, as we can see in these examples. The topics here are Denver, the program, and these stations. And each sentence provides comments on those topics. If you look at these sentences in connection with one another, you'll see how the comment from one sentence becomes the topic of the next. This is one example of the known new contract. Each sentence builds off of the last by referring to the previous comment before offering any new information. We like to think of this type of idea progression as a chain. The end of a sentence directly links to the beginning of the next. But repeating terms over and over again gets redundant and downright boring. So consider using pronouns or renaming the referent for sentence variation. Here's a more complicated example to further illustrate how the chain strategy works. The visual helps you see how ideas build off one another. You can think of the squares as topics and the circles as comments, or the squares as known information and the circles as new information. For this example, the square A represents the bolded topic that says behavioral treatments, while the gray circle B represents the underlined comment pediatric headaches, which then becomes the bolded topic for the next sentence that clearly signals back to the headaches by saying this common affliction. For more information, visit these resources or check out our other podcasts on the known new content.